That was awesome. When the bowling ball hit the ground, you jumped out of your seat a little. <laughs> Try the decaf. <laughs> Woo! It's an honor to be here at TEDx Berkeley. Good afternoon, everyone. For my second trick, I need to borrow three iPhones and a butterfly. I will get two volunteers. This is when everybody avoids eye contact. Would you be volunteer number one, please? Would you come up on stage and please watch your step? Let's see. Let's go with someone a little further back. Let's get a gentleman this time. Well, oh. <laughs> looking, look, that's great. Uh, I think I've got my person. Uh, you, sir, in the gray. Yes, would you come up on stage with the red lanyard? You. Yeah, okay, come on. While they make their way on the stage, I want everyone to know that I was invited to be here at TEDx Berkeley. And when I was invited, I said, What is the topic? And they said, Inspiring innovation. I said, Great. I will create an original routine based on the theme, Inspiring Innovation. They said, nope, you do magic. We got other smarter people to do that. <laughs> Come on up. So I went to the San Francisco Public Library and I got two random books to use for this demonstration. One is called Inspiring and the other is called Innovation. <laughs> Please. What is your name? Philip. And what is your name? Becky. Becky, would you take a book? Look through it, make sure it is from the San Francisco Public Library, that there's about 200 plus pages in it, every page is different, every word is different, yes? Yes, thank you, Becky. Just place the book right down here for a moment, and tell me your name again. Philip and Becky. F Becky, I have two chalkboards, blank on both sides. You are going to be holding these for about 90 seconds, so I want you to hold in a way that you're relaxed. Don't open them, just relax. Now what I'm gonna have you do, <laughs> what I'm going to have you do is pick a book, inspiring, I'm sorry, inspiring or innovation. Which book shall we use for this experiment? Inspiring. Inspiring. Good choice. What I'd like you to do is flip it through to a page that has a lot of words. <laughs> Excellent. And I have a bookmark here with a cutout. The cutout frames a word, and would you say nice and loud the word that is framed inside the bookmark? Cooperate. That was good. What word now? Between. Phenomenon. Nice job. Though <laughs> no, keep the book. Start on one side of it. Thumb through the pages slowly. I'm going to find somebody to say the word stop. You in the yellowish green. Would you say the word stop at some point? They'll pick a page. Stop. What page number? One, one, one. Come closer. You're too far away. Um, you, sir, in the second row, would you like me to use the left page or the right page? Right page. Uh, you in the center, center. I'm going to slide the, uh, the bookmark down the page. When you feel the right moment, you say the word stop. Oh, we got two people. <laughs> that was close enough. You said it almost the same time. Um, let me see the person to the, the right of them. Would you like me to go left or right or stay there? I don't have far to go, but you tell me when to stop. Right there? You want me to go back or stay there? Stay there. Okay, let's see. It frames a word. Could you say nice and loud the word that's framed? Thinking. Thinking. One word? Our thinking. Two words. Mm. Okay. What are the two words that are framed? Our thinking. Our thinking, correct? Yeah. So out of two books, each with more than 200 pages, it's 150,000 words. We landed on two words. Those words are our thinking. Before I send you back to the stage, I've got a bunch of different colored chalk. We've got uh, red, green, white, blue, purple, and all that. Two fingers, reach in, grab a color. One that chooses you. The first one you grab. What color? Yellow. Yellow. A big round of applause for my volunteer. You have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> Becky, I'm going to place this piece of chalk in there. Would you open it just a little? Excellent. Close it and relax for a moment. We're now going to do a demonstration with telepathy and telekinesis. Telepathy is the ability to read people's minds. Telekinesis is the ability to move objects with your mind. If you believe in the power of telepathy, please raise your hand now. Good. <laughs> a few. Uh, if you believe in the power of telekinesis, please raise my hand. <laughs> Becky, turn towards me. We're going to start the experiment now. Place the boards closer to me. Excellent. In a moment, I'm going to touch you very gently. <laughs> On your hands. I want you to count how many times you feel a touch. There'll be gentle touches. 
Don't count out loud, count to yourself. And you'll be doing this with your eyes closed. Not yet. <laughs> Audience, I want you to watch closely and count how many times you see me touch Becky's hands. Not out loud, to yourself. Okay, Becky, look into my eyes. Take a deep breath, let it out. Relax your shoulders. Ready? Close your eyes and start counting now. Okay, Becky, look at me. Open. Not wind, not breath, not air, but a gentle touch. How many gentle touches did you feel? Five. How many? Five. Five. How many did you see? I have just combined telepathy and telekinesis to move that piece of chalk around. Yes. Are you a believer? I am now. You are now. Good answer. Separate the chalkboards. You take one. Or actually, you grab the piece of chalk. I don't want it to fall out. You got it? Take it. You want to hold that one or this one? Show them what it says. Watch your step. If we put our minds to it, nothing is impossible. Everybody stand up. Arms out, palms down. This is how I'm going to start my cult. <laughs> right arm on top. Right arm on top. Palms towards palms. Lock your fingers together. Point your thumbs down to the ground. Actually, point your thumbs down to the ground. Good. Just like that guy. Good. Do as I do, everyone. Watch closely. <laughs> Unwind. Shake it out. Place your hands on your pocket with all your cash. <laughs> Give me all your cash. Everyone, I had a great time. Thanks for having me. My name is Robert Swing. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Yeah.